Hello there. You know, one of the very common things that my clients bring to the therapy room is difficult relationships with family members. I think most of us have had an experience where we have maybe one or two family members that we just kind of struggle with and maybe our, the relationship isn't as good as we'd like it to be. So what do we do about that? You know, it's it can be easy if somebody's an acquaintance to set a boundary or just walk away from that relationship if it's not working. But, you know, it's not like that with family members, is it? We're kind of a little bit stuck because we're going to see them again. You know, we feel obligated to spend time with them. And actually, on some level, maybe we would like to have a better relationship with them. They are family after all. But what can we do if we do have this situation where there's, say, a person in, in the family that we just, oh, we just don't get on with them. We don't see eye to eye. We often feel criticized. We feel that they don't respect us. There's just this sort of stuckness between you and, and that person. What can you do? Well, first of all, there are some people who are not able to maintain good relationships. They have some issue, and in a YouTube video, I'm not here to diagnose somebody, but there are some people who maybe it's best not to spend too much time with those people because they just, you know, they can't make the changes. So, but those are not the people that I'm talking about here. I'm talking about those relationships with people in the family who you just you just have this stuckness with, and, and maybe you just you'd really like to feel better, because ultimately, as human beings, we all just want to feel a bit happier, don't we? We, we want to feel better. We don't actually none of us actually enjoy having a bad relationship with somebody. We might get angry. We might wish that we could get our own back or something if they've offended us or, or disrespected us. But ultimately, what we really want to do, what all human beings want to do is to move from a place of not happy to happy. So with a family member, what can we do? I think the first thing I'd like to say is that the power of acceptance is is remarkable and I'll, I'll make videos separate videos on acceptance because it really is a powerful thing but for now I just want to explain about acceptance if there's somebody in your family that you just don't get on with and perhaps never have and perhaps it's been a long long time that you've had a difficult relationship wishing and wishing and wishing that they change and wishing that things were different it's never going to happen when you can accept that this person is just there maybe to challenge you a bit, maybe for you to learn some lessons about life, maybe it is just what it is, maybe there's no particular reason, but they, you and they just don't gel, you don't get on, and that's how it is, and perhaps they've got some quirky patterns in their behavior that they, they just have, and as years go on, sometimes people get set in those ways as well. And also, we get set patterns in families. You know, people sort of take on a role and that becomes a subconscious thing. So they fall into that role quite quickly. And, and particularly when they go and spend time together, everybody sort of takes their place on the stage, as it were. And those things are quite hard to break, those patterns. I think if we can start from a point of acceptance that this person is the person they are, they are a bit cranky, they are a bit judgmental, they are a bit whatever it is. When you're together, you tend to do this dance that isn't very comfortable, except it, it is what it is. And the reason I'm saying about acceptance is because the remarkable thing about acceptance is that when we stop resisting a situation and wishing it would change and we just accept that it is what it is, what tends to happen is that it starts to change. Quite often, what we tend to do is we go into these situations with a kind of negativity and it's a habit it's the same thought process that we go through every time we spend time with this person. We lead up to it. We're having thoughts of, oh, gosh, I wish I didn't have to do this today. I wish I didn't have to see this person. I wonder how they'll be when I see them. 
Are they going to criticize me? Are they going to be grumpy? Are they going to do that thing or say that thing that triggers me and makes me feel upset? And so we go into it from a negative space. And it's quite hard to have a positive experience if we approach something from a negative space. So one thing that you can do is to set an intention that this time it's going to be slightly better. That doesn't mean to say that everything has to be you know, wonderful, but what it means is that you have lightened your thoughts and lightened your energy so that when you go into it, you're not sort of burdened with this heaviness and this expectation. You're not turning up with kind of body language that signals to this person that you maybe don't really want to be there or you don't like them or something. Because people do pick up on this stuff from each other. So that's one thing that you can do. And another thing that you can do is to, you know, quite often people tell me, oh, I go along and I see this person and I can't wait to get away. And actually, it's a good idea to make a little sort of agreement with somebody. I'm going to come and see you or I'm going to have a phone conversation with you. And this is the time I've got and I'll be leaving at such and such a time. Because that turns things around a lot from just turning up, feeling resentful, can't wait to get away. And when things get too uncomfortable, saying, well, I must go now. So if you tend to do that, just have a think about how you might tweak that, change it around a little bit so that you can go along and say, I've got an hour, I'm coming to see you for that hour and then I have to leave at three o'clock or whatever the time is. Because then that person doesn't feel so rejected. They may not show that they feel rejected, but we do tend to show our resentment even though we think we're hiding it. And uh, another person will pick up on that. And that just adds to this difficult relationship that you have. So to actually make an agreement, make a time, make a, make, make a statement to them of the time you're going to spend and the time you're going to leave, it gets rid of all that awkwardness then. And when you spend time with this person, give it your everything. Go into this hour or this afternoon or evening, whatever time it is with this person and actually make that intention. Again, we're back to this positive intention that you are going to be kind and you're going to be respectful and you're going to be interested in them and you're going to show appreciation for things in them. Think about anything at all you can, you can think of with this person. One tiny little thing that you think is a positive about them. They may have loads of negatives, but is there anything at all that is positive about them? Put that into your mind. Think about that. If you can share that with them, that's brilliant. But if you don't feel able to share that with them, still put it in your mind because again, it will lighten you. It will make you feel happier about having that time that you share with this person. And it will make it, easier between the two of you. Some people in life are able to make quite quick adjustments. If you set a boundary with somebody or you change your behavior around them or you communicate to them that you'd like things to change, they're able to do that quite quickly. But those people are few. The majority of people find it takes time to actually make adjustments. They have to process the information that you've presented to them. They have to go off and think about it. So if you are wanting things to be different with somebody and you're maybe setting a boundary or you're asking for more respect or you're treating them in a different way or maybe you're being more appreciative, whatever the change is, don't expect them to suddenly you know, alter and, and become very different very quickly. It may be that they'll be a bit resistant to that. It may be that they won't seem to notice it. It may be that they carry on being the grumpy self or the criticizing you or whatever the thing is that bothers you. But if you do, as I suggest, if you go in with intention, you offer them the gift of some positivity, some kindness and giving them your all for a period of time, they will process that later on. It might take a day, it might take a few weeks, it could take a couple of months, but they will process that. 
So I just want to finish this video by saying that most people somewhere along the line have some difficult family relationship somewhere. So you're certainly not alone if this is you. And as I said, we can't just walk away from these situations unless they really need us to walk away from them. If they're, you know, if somebody's being quite abusive, then of course the thing is to remove yourself. But in general, if it's just one of those glitchy, awkward, oh, person in the family who always gets to you, you know, the thing to do is you can't walk away from that really. So the thing to do is to learn ways to navigate with that rather than resisting it and wishing it was different. Think about what lessons can you learn from this and how can you grow as a person? How can you set boundaries around the time you spend with them in a loving way? And how can you actually offer them a gift of something positive, even if you still acknowledge and recognize that a lot of it is negative. There's no, I'm not saying forgive people and pretend everything's all right. But what I'm saying is, is there a little, little inkling there, a little, a little crack of light that you can shine on this? You may as well. You may as well bring some happiness to the situation. So try that. Let me know how you get on. Let me know in the comments. I know it's a, it's a, complicated it's a complicated topic this and everybody is different and everybody has their difficult challenging experiences so it's not a it's not a general thing but try these little approaches and and these concepts about how to navigate these relationships and if you like this video please do hit the thumbs up like button that means more people will see the video and that means more people can be helped. So you're helping me to help more people. And also do subscribe because I'm making lots of videos. I'm absolutely thrilled. I've been running this now for a few weeks and I'm absolutely thrilled to see so many of you joining in, watching the videos, subscribing and just being part of this community. Bye bye for now.